so it says, Behold, I said, Ezekiel 31 and 3, Behold, the Assyrian was a cedar in Lebanon with three branches. Right, so notice it out, they were comparing the Assyrians to a tree. Right, it said, With a shadowing throne and of a high stature, and his stump was among the sick bows. Waters made him great, and his set him on high with her rivers running round about his plants, and sent out her little rivers on all the trees of the field. Therefore his height was exhausted on all the trees of the field. Right? So therefore his height was exalted above all the trees of the field, and his bows were multiplied, and his branches became long because of the multitude of waters with which he shot forth. And all the bows of heaven made their nests in his bows, and under his branches did all the beasts of the field bring forth their young, and under his shadow dwelt all great nations. Thus was he fear in his greatness and in the length of his branches, for his root was by great waters. Is the point now? The cedars in the garden of God could not hide him. The fir trees were not like his bows, and the chestnut trees were not like his branches. Nor any trees in the garden of God was like unto him in beauty. I have made him fear by the multitude of his branches, so that all the trees of Eden that were in the garden of God envied him. So it's a show you say. Hold on, hold on. 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 Hold on, hold the rest of the man was saying, the Assyrian was greater than all of them. Because the, 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 the Garden of Eden was actually in the Middle East. You see me? And people dwelt in the garden. But Adam and his lineage was the ruler. You see me? So it's just so it said Adam tended to the garden. Because he was the ruler. Right? He was the ruler. Hold on, And he said, you, 
I got ruled in the arm um, with the guard. Okay, I'm going to read it over, but... Yeah, I'm going to read it over. So, I'm just going to have to capture my part. So, my guard is going to stand this player, bro. serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, and the, the Lord God had made, and he said unto the woman, yea, after God said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden, and we know already, seeing said the tree of the garden of people. Yeah, in the ending of verse 2, actually, in Jesus, man shall leave mother and father, and shall cleave 
and his wife and then two shall become one. Me and them have sex. Yeah, that's right. why so that's one of one and a woman joins in here for a long time. Right. So what may I say? Well, 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 he said, and the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. And according to, and according to the doctor, you want to learn, literally, I say, oh, one woman attacked one literal snake, so one snake can shut. Exactly. No, I mean, no, it's not a literal snake. He said, he said, God had said, he said, God had said, you shall not eat there of it. You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest he die. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. For God know that in the day that you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and you shall be as God, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw the food was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the food thereof, and it eat, and gave unto her husband, and with her, and he did eat. She had to the man for the serpent. And two of them eat of my fruit, you know. She said, she knew me. And she can't go to your house, but I'm going to have to. So after I've come to a serpent, they get wise. No, I don't have to talk about it. I don't have to talk about it. Now it's them learn. That's why I say them, no. Yes, you can say, you say, yo.
So it's a wisdom of Solomon 7 and 1. Myself also am a mortal man, like unto all. And the offspring of him that was first made of the earth, and in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in the time of ten months, being compacted in blood and of the seed of man. And and with the pleasure that come with sleep. And when I was born, I drew in the common ear and fell upon the earth, which is of like nature. And the first voice which I uttered was crying, as all others do. I was nursed in within, within clothes, and that with tears, tears, for there is no king that had any other beginning of birth, for all men have one entrance into life. And the light going out. It's the thing is, brother, you see, it's a So, it's in the original 1611 King James Version. It's an apocrypha in Italy. It's an open and good job. And it's a good job. Because it's a kind of prophecy. Right. 